Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 9 of this first season of Shadow's House. But before starting this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me and join me in this super amazing adventure. Okay, in the previous episode, we discovered more about these levels, plus we understood that Ram is having more self-confidence. Let's see what's going to happen today. Let's see if Emiriko can save Kate. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. Eh, in fact, Edward is a, com is a complete being, as I was uh, telling you. Eh, in fact... But why there is all this system? So this was one of the secrets, eh? <laughs> okay. Oh, Ricky! <laughs> it will never happen. <laughs> yeah. And he also saved the John, so. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, Ricky, you shouldn't be so stubborn as you are. What the F? It's better if you follow him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, that's a step forward. Exactly, no matter what, so I think... Uh, mm. Every time, see, the shadows wants to be entertained by these living dolls struggling. <laughs> Actually, nothing because, uh, yeah, she already finished. <laughs> now, I think that Lou gave uh, him the, that weapon. Oh! <laughs> I mean, all of them at this point, they are living dolls, all, all of them, they can stay in that uh, house only if they are living dolls who are reflecting the shadows. Uh.
and but one day you have to replace him so yeah ah, yeah see mm -hmm. so he was not lying this time oh She likes him. She likes him since the moment that she was about to kiss him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's hope that he changes his mind. I start to feeling sorry for Ricky somehow, eh? Oh, I'm happy for that. Oh, why? Uh, it is something. Oh, no! Open the gate! No, 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 please, please, please open the gate. No, no, what you're saying. Uh, no, 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 you're going to survive. Uh, oh, no, see, I felt uh, sorry for Ricky since the beginning of this. We should be afraid of John, eh? Uh, <laughs> Bleh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, once the shadow gets in touch with the body to become a perfect being, then the shadow is prevailing. What the F? Yeah, what about Ram? Okay. Be careful, Ram, because he... You are alone right now, huh? I hope so. I don't like these uh, shadows who are having fun, who are laughing while they are struggling. Look, this is so bad. Wow. Good job, Ricky. Yeah, exactly. That was the test. I mean, that was this task for this uh, thing. To gain a trust. Now you are more scarier than her. <laughs> I think she, I think Rama knows what she's doing. Please say something, Rama, this time. Oh, okay! What the F? More or less, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's great because Kate always wants that she shares the things with her. I 
like the way in which Kate wants to create this bond. I think it's different from all the others. I just hope that this Kate is not turning into something evil later because can you imagine? I mean, but even when she's saying now, uh, later I'm giving you the bread you like, it's like as if you poor slave. Oh, here we go. Please spill out everything you know. Uh, that was Louise and Louis, right? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah, uh, she's just explaining these. I thought that she was about to say something else. Ah. Uh. No, if she was taking the keys. Oh, my. Oh, what the F. But I think she will find another way, yo. I think Edward doesn't expect this because he thinks that he has all the, resolu the solutions for him about... No, don't release the suit. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he expected that. Look. Uh, oh, no. But she can't jump from there, no. I mean, oh, who's coming? Oh, good job! Uh, because uh, Patrick uh, was held at that time by Emiliko. No, no, no. Lou gave a him. No, 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 you should. Exactly, exactly. See, Emilico is a trusting um, Ricky. Let's save her. Huh? Come on, Ricky. Yes! Good job, Patrick. Yes, because she was helping you. Correct. That was really nice. Exactly, she is different. Can you imagine if at the end of the day all these shadows, they stay all together and they try to defeat the grandpa? I mean, uh, at this point, even if, uh, I mean, if shadows too, they can try to become friends. Uh, wow. No, I have to wait. No, 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 no. Don't worry, everything will be okay. Yes! Oh no! Whoa! Okay!
Trust, see? Oh! <laughs> that was great! Oh, look, she was smiling. I mean, Kate was smiling too, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> you should be scared about this. <laughs> Okay guys, another episode finished. First of all, I am really happy that Ricky is changing his mind and his attitude in this episode. Thanks to Sean, for example, but also thanks to Patrick, that is his shadow who was helped by Emily some episodes ago. I think that that was really nice to see the evolution of this character too, as much as we saw the evolution of Ram in the previous episodes. So I think that mm, all this is thanks to Emily once again. But let's go step by step. First of all, Ricky was not trusted by Sean at the beginning because they were um, fighting, uh, expressing one the will of the other one, etc. etc. They were quarreling a little bit. But as soon as uh, Ricky is turning his back and he is going ahead because Sean is not believing him, look, Ricky, it's also because of your previous attitude. I mean, you were always telling lots of lies, so Sean was not supposed to believe you. But at the end of the day, Sean made the mistake not to try to believe him anyway. And in fact, we know that Ricky was just helped by Lou because Lou gave this weapon to him also because she won already, let's say. So she didn't need that weapon anymore. And it was her free will to help him also because Lou likes uh, Ricky somehow. We saw it in previous episodes. But it was good to see that Ricky, for the first time, was not lying. We saw that throughout these episodes, uh, Ricky was always trying to find excuses, even in front of Sean in this episode. But then, when it was about the time to say the truth, he said it, but he was not trusted, of course, because of everything that happened before. But I really liked that then, Ricky learned the lesson. Oh, first of all, I open a bracket. Uh, John, uh, he's incredibly strong, did you see? And that's why I'm thinking, what if, as much as I was telling you during the reaction, they, the shadows, can get in touch with one another, they can join the forces, and they can reach the grandpa. So they are going to defeat the grandpa, because these third level shadows, they don't imagine or they didn't expect at all that all these living dolls plus these shadows could help one another to reach all of them the goals to pass this debut test. So I think that these shadows, they have never expected something like this. They were expecting to feel entertained by seeing one struggling and the other one fighting with the other one, etc., etc. But they have never expected that they could find these great bonds and they could uh, create relationships or that these living dolls could change their mind sometimes. They could develop their skills some other times and they could speak the truth for other times. So as you can see, this labyrinth, as I was telling you previously, it helped all of them to reach a goal that they have never expected to reach or a goal that was impossible to reach without this mission. So as you can see, this labyrinth for this time has a positive uh, uh, meaning and it was really nice to see the development of each of them. Look at Ram, for example. She didn't want even to walk a little bit more alone, but look at her right now. She's going under a tunnel, she's going to save Shirley and whatsoever, no matter what. Look at Ricky, he learned not to say lies and to speak the truth or to be helpful in the case other people need help. Why Ricky is changing is because of Patrick, because Patrick was helped by Emilico 
and that's why he says uh, please now help uh, Emiriko because uh, she was helping me before so as you can see is a chain of events but this uh, chain of events makes the story developed and uh, the builder let's say of this chain is Emiliko because she was helping creating all these events one after the other one so even these people are starting feeling grateful to her because they are admiring her and they are recognizing that she's a different she's a special look even Kate is changing her mind about Emiliko the more she's going on with her relationship with her the more she's discovering how special her living doll is. Then these shadows of the third level who are looking uh, down and they are feeling entertained, they are saying that one of the secret is that the shadow later is going to possess the body of these living dolls and they are becoming one thing. As I was telling you many episodes ago at this point, when we saw Edward the first time, I was telling you, look, uh, don't tell me that the shadow is not there just because the shadow is already possessing the body and I was right somehow but this makes me feel uh, bad uh, let me tell you because right now we see a great uh, relationship between Kate uh, and Emiliko and we see how much they connect with each other we see how this bond is created more and more and it's becoming greater than before also because finally they get in touch with with each other and they can share info the beauty of this relationship is this the fact that they are talking about everything that happened as if they are best friends or something like that or as if they are sisters as if they are siblings but what if Kate later is going to force Emiliko to be possessed by her and Emiliko is getting in touch with a new version of Kate? Uh, I feel a little bit uh, sad or afraid for this, sincerely, because I hope that this bond is, a, is a unique, is a special, and it will be different from the rest of the other levels that we are seeing. Plus... Uh, if Emiliko, thanks to her great attitude that she has towards everyone, can change things forever, things are going to be different. So there will be another way to reach Grandpa and to defeat him, because maybe he has to tell us something really creepy. I still believe so. And that's why we need somebody who's going to change everything, who's going to change all these procedures that are going ahead level after level, uh, debut after debut, etc, etc. There will be the moment in which uh, these shadows are going to possess these living dolls' body, also because uh, the living dolls are said that they have to uh, obey to everything that these shadows are saying. So if the shadow is saying, uh, ah, look, uh, you have to give me your body now, look, you have to give me your face right now, they have to say yes, they can't say no. The purpose of this uh, debut exam was to create this uh, trust, to be able to develop uh, this uh, sort of loyalty, this uh, sort of a bond, so that in the future when one of these uh, shadows is demanding to these living dolls to do this, to do that, etc, etc, they can't say no, they just have to say yes. So that's why it's getting creepier, because I wonder when we will reach the moment in which uh, these shadows are demanding these living dolls their bodies and what if one of them is saying no? That could be so interesting. Or, as I was telling you, this time it will be different because between the living dolls and shadows there will be a sort of a special connection that others couldn't have and in this case things can change. Hmm, but then other problems will come, of course, because as soon as you're trying to change one thing, then there are all the rest of the previous shadows and living dolls who are going to rebel about this change and everything is going to collapse. But anyway, this episode was pretty interesting because we see how these characters, I mean, how these living dolls, once they will finish this test, they will never be the same as before. So this uh, uh, test was really helping them. 
helping them to change themselves so somehow for something better, not for something worse. And this was already a great thing that was uh, gained. Then, another thing I want to say is that these shadows and the living dolls possessed by these shadows of the third level, etc., etc., when they are looking at Emily, Co and Kate, they were so sure that they couldn't make it, etc., etc. But then you see that they are so surprised because they have never expected maybe that Emiliko was ready to rescue Kate no matter what, that she was about to sacrifice her own existence for Kate. So they were surprised. Yeah, these shadows are shadows, but then they can reveal their faces based on the feelings they are feeling, and then the shadow is prevailing once again. So what if even Kate has the same... Ability. Do you remember when at the beginning uh, Emiliko was trying to put uh, some makeup on her face and she was already getting angry because there was a sort of a revelation over there? Why? I mean, uh, don't tell me that Kate already has a face under this shadow and she just needs to use Emiliko to need to know how to use the face she's or she already has or at this point uh, that the third level shadow already had the face under the shadow because she already possessed her living doll. Yeah, but even if that's the case, why the shadow is prevailing on, on the living doll? I mean, on the face. If they went on the next level, the shadow shouldn't prevail, shouldn't come back as before, but the face should have stayed as this because they reached the top level. Don't you understand what I mean? Um, that's strange. Uh, we needed to understand more about that secret in detail. Okay, guys, I think for this episode, that is it. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned because next week I come back with episode 10 of Shadows House, season one. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.